Do what must be done. Do not hesitate. Shouldn't have Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Actually, where we take what people say that's wrong and actually tell you what's right. And in today's episode of Star Wars Actually, we're just gonna pile on Dave Filoni some more. This guy, people say, is George Lucas's apprentice. He's the savior of Star Wars when he's actually a raging feminist. Here he is at the conference talking about Princess Leia. Seven, uh, we have one of the most probably famous female characters of all time in all film, and uh, Princess Leia. Uh, a lot of people I've talked to in, in recent days have tried to say, well, she's a princess that needed rescued. I, I have no idea why people think that. Uh, if I look at... And, uh, we're going to go in to a little bit about what he's saying about Princess Leia, which is just actually not true. What we're really going to focus on today is what he said about her at... I believe 4.05 in the video. Yeah, she's part of the Imperial Senate. She's a senator. What is she, like 18 in that film? That's pretty revolutionary for the time. He just said that Princess Leia was 18 years old in Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, when actually... She's 19 years old. And I know this because I know Star Wars, unlike Dave Filoni, who actually doesn't know much about Star Wars. He's actually not very good at his job. Princess Leia was born in the year 19 BBY, along with Luke Skywalker, because they're actually twins and it's been 19 years since their date of birth yet Dave Filoni said that she's 18 years old not 19 18 years old yeah, she's part of the Imperial Senate she's a senator what is she like 18 in that film, that's pretty revolutionary for the I mean, someone in his position, he's asking how old she was in the film. It's like, if you're actually asking that question, what else do you actually don't know about? This guy really is overrated. Actually, very overrated. He's nothing but feminist trash. I mean, he doesn't know that Princess Leia is not 18 years old. She's 19 years old in A New Hope. And I, I just think that this guy needs to be exposed for it. He really does. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to clear my nasal cavities. Uh, so it, it gets worse. Him saying the wrong age, which is just... She was born in 19 BBY, and he thinks she's 18, but she's 19. She's actually 19. And this actually gets a lot worse. Because he is simping. For Princess Leia and spreading a lot of fake news about her. She's a brilliant strategist. What's the next thing she does? She only meets the most important archer villain in the entire franchise, Darth Vader. But she talks right back to him. She says, Darth Vader, only you would be so bold. The Imperial Senate will not still for this. She's going on at him. He, he's like so overwhelmed. He's like, 
uh, you're part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. I, I can't talk to her. We know Anakin now. He, Anakin's not, I mean, Anakin's smart in some ways, but he's not that bright. He can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. He's going to get rid of her. There is a lot to break down here. A lot to actually break down. So Dave Filoni, who people actually think is George Lucas's apprentice and actually the savior of Star Wars, said that Darth Vader was afraid of Princess Leia. That he couldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. That is a lie. That is wrong. That is actually misinformation. A and then he said, take her away, like, insinuating Darth Vader. Darth Vader could not deal with a 19-year-old female. Not 18. She was actually 19. And then he proceeds to take a shot at Anakin Skywalker. So he's ripping on both personalities. Ripping on Vader. Ripping on Anakin. And insinuating that he's not smart. <laughs> he actually said that Anakin is not smart. She's a brilliant strategist. What's the next thing she does? She only meets the most important arch villain in the entire franchise, Darth Vader. But she talks right back to him. She says, Darth Vader, only you would be so bold. The Which is true. She actually did talk back to him. And I actually think she's a good character. But this is Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni doing what he does. Ignoring established lore, ignoring canon, and he's, he's at the women's conference talking about Princess Leia and spreading all this fake news about her. <laughs> ah, ah, excuse me, the nasal cavities are really acting up. And... It, it just gets worse. The Imperial Senate will not still for this. She's going on at him. He, he's like so overwhelmed. He's like, uh, you're part of the relevant. <laughs> Darth Vader? Darth Vader is actually overwhelmed? Is that what he's suggesting? <laughs> and, and people take this guy seriously. Dave Filoni. A raging feminist. And I know people on Twitter are going to say that, hey, you just actually hate women. And no, that's, that's not the case. I'm just not a fucking idiot. I've seen this movie so many times, and this is not how it went down. This is not actually how it went down. All the lines of the traitor, take her away. I can't talk to her. We know Anakin now. I can't talk to her? Get her away from me? Va Darth Vader actually needs to go to a safe space to get away from Princess Leia? This guy is ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. Now, Anakin's not, I mean, Anakin's smart in some ways, but he's not that bright. He can't go. Anakin's smart in some ways, but he's not that bright. And keep in mind, later, he calls Luke Skywalker a knucklehead. And then the door opens, and here comes this knucklehead in this kind of loose armor. And, he's, and she's like, aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? And here comes this knucklehead. And here comes this knucklehead. And here comes this knucklehead. His own son, Anakin's son, calls Luke a knucklehead. So calls Anakin dumb. And Luke, a knucklehead. What does this actually mean? <laughs> and he's he's praising all the all the strong women. 
And he's actually ripping apart all the men in Star Wars. And he does it with Han Solo, too. Toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. He's going to get rid of her. I can't talk to her. I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Princess Leia. Take her away. I'm going to go to my safe space. Where I won't have to actually put up with her. Embarrassing. Because she's smart. She's going to outwit him. She is very... Leia is smart. I, I'm not denying she's smart. She's a good character. And everything. But Vader can't outwit her? <laughs> it's just so condescending to Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Maybe if Darth Vader was a woman... Baloney wouldn't be saying this nonsense. He wouldn't actually be saying it. Yeah, she's part of the Imperial Senate. She's a senator. What is she, like 18 in that film? That's pretty revolutionary for the time. No one's doing that. So she does all these things, but then... Princess Leia is not 18. She's actually 19. And Dave Filoni doesn't know that. Doesn't know that Princess Leia was born in 19 BBY and in the events of Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, she was 19 years old. Actually 19, not 18. Dave Filoni needs to be fired. <laughs> Disney Star Wars is... Absolute trash. It's actually an abomination to Star Wars. And even that doesn't do enough justice for how terrible it is. But this guy has been getting away with it for too long. And I'm not going to stand for it. I'm going to actually call him out. Because she's not 18 years old. This guy should know that. He is... Actually, Chief Creative Officer at Lucasfilm. And he doesn't actually know Princess Leia's age. Boy, this guy. This, 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 this guy just... He's not George Lucas. Not at all. He's not the savior of Star Wars. He's actually a feminist piece of shit. Fuck Dave Filoni. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Star Wars Actually. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. At last we will reveal ourselves to the shells. At last we will have revenge. is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. <laughs>